Hey guys, what's up? It's Sick Flows here. I am back with another tutorial, and this one is on compressing vocals. A lot of you have been asking me to show you how to compress vocals, which I have done in the past, but you guys wanted me to actually tell you what it is that I'm doing and why it is that I'm doing it and show you what compressing really is. So, um, I told you guys in my vlog that I'm going to be also showing you how to clean up the audio. Now, I want to point this out. First of all, um, I don't like messing with vocals that are in stereo. The artist that sent it to me um, didn't know that I didn't like it in stereo. So, But anyways, I'll have his link pop up on the screen right now. And I will have it down on the link below. So make sure you check him out on YouTube and Reverb Nation. Okay, so that's out of the way. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and clean up the audio. Okay, first thing. Just go ahead and highlight the beginning where you're not saying anything and go ahead and silence that so you can just get clean it up even make it look nice nice that's what you want to make it and do the same thing to the end and go ahead and silence it all right now that's done now i'm going to go ahead and i'm pretty sure you guys are not going to be able to hear it but i'm going to go ahead and try to find the breaths and i'm going to reduce the gain on the breath so you can hear it because I personally don't like I mean I don't silence the breaths because if you silence them the vocal just sounds weird so I just bring them down a few dB so let's go ahead and do that this one right here is a small breath so I'm gonna go ahead and gain it and give it a negative 3.5 dB bring it down a little bit and keep going this one right here is a big one so let's go ahead and give it a negative seven and yes guys I have a cold so shut the hell up <laughs> just playing don't shut up hope I'm helping you so let's see another big breath see a lot of people don't know that you know the breath can kill the song and everything and uh, Cleaning up of the vocal is very important. I think I heard the breath in here. This is a long, deep breath with nothing that to be said in that huge part right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and silence it. And this right here, he says, ah. Uh. So what I'm going to do is give it a little bit of an echo. I'm going to go to select plugin. I'm going to go to dynamics. I mean, delay. Mono delay. Echo. And let me preview it. Let me see. This right here, I'm going to go ahead and silence it. You see all these little black parts right here, how it's like a thick black line? When you ever just see those, just go ahead and silence them because that's nothing but a little bit of distortion. And you want to clean up the audio as best as possible. So that's what we're doing here is because, you know, I told you guys in a lot of videos the better the vocal, the better the song and the mix and you may not think it like you know you may be like okay yeah it was a little sound or whatever in the background that won't affect it because the beat will go over it well yes it would affect it so another thing i like to point out guys is you know i know it takes time to do it but if it was this easy to get like a radio song everyone would be doing it And this right here is actually a, I don't know what it is. It sounded like he did a hiccup. So I'm going to go ahead and silence all of that. It's not part of the song or it's not meant to be. All right. So I think this, that's about it for cleaning up. Still got a few thick lines here. So I'm going to go ahead and silence those. 
Make sure you don't silence any of the vocal though when you're doing this. Because then it would just sound all messed up. Alright, and then before we get into compressing now, I want to talk about the gate. Um, usually I do the gate before I start recording. And to go to the gate, you're just going to go click here, click on dynamics, and gate. Now what a gate is, it's going to go ahead and gate every, like, you know, sound or noise that doesn't pass a certain dB. And I'll show you what I use. I had the preset called Clean Lead Vocals, comes with Cubase 5. And then what I do is, you see the threshold here? It's at negative 26.3. And usually I don't like messing around around negative 20s because that's when the vocal kicks in. So usually I go to negative 43.1. That way anything under negative 43.1 won't be picked up. So anything that's under that threshold, that dB, won't be picked up. So, and you can bring it up negative 30 if you have a lot of no, like noise. Just try to stay away from the negative 20s. So for this one, it's already clean enough. I leave everything as it is. And usually I do EQ next, but this is a compression video, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the compressor. So I'm gonna click on Dynamics and Compressor. All right, now. I'm going to start with the ratio. For rap vocals, you want a ratio from 1.5 to 3.5. And 3.5 is pushing it. At least I think so. Now, the lower the ratio, the more in your face the vocal will be. So, I mean, it depends on the type of song. If you listen to Drake songs or, like, you know, artists like him, they're really in your face. The vocals are really in your face. Now, if you listen to like a Wiz Khalifa song or something like that, or like, you know, like a techno song, you hear the vocals a little bit back into the mix. And to be back into the mix, you want to go anywhere from four to eight, sometimes five to eight. So I usually mess around the 2.5 ratio so they can be in your face. Um, I don't really like 1.5 because that's really in your face and that's not my style of music, but basically mess with the threshold depending on the song. And that's what the threshold does. Now I'm gonna talk about the attack right here. Um, the attack, for rap vocals, hip hop songs, you always want a uh, fast attack. And you can go anywhere from one to 10, but I like using anywhere from three to seven. And seven is pushing it for me. Now, if you have a fast rapper, you want the lower attack, so a faster attack. So if you have somebody who raps really fast, go anywhere from one to three. Somebody mid, three to five, and then the other one seven to ten. This guy rapped pretty chill, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it an attack of five. So now the hold is how many like milliseconds or seconds? I'm not sure what it is, but like if it's seconds or milliseconds, but it's the amount of time that it holds before it compresses. And you want that at one because if you have that hold too high it's gonna hold for longer and it's gonna take longer to compress your vocals and it might not get compressed as well so always leave that at one now for the release is how fast after it compresses it releases and goes back to regular to how your regular vocals so you want to have the release at a pretty fast release I'll say anywhere from 110 to 150 maybe 175 for this one, I'm gonna go with 150 in your analysis, you always want to have that at 100 for rap vocals. Now, I'm going to play the vocals, and right here, this bar right here is, is going to show you how much dB is actually compressing. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now, it's showing at like a 3, 5, but I haven't messed with the threshold yet. So that's what you're always going to be looking into. To see how much you compress. Now, for the threshold, it's the simplest tool ever. Like the way that I learned how to use it is, I bring it all the way down, play the vocal, and bring it up slowly until you can hear every word of the vocal clearly, nice and clear. You know, nothing being held back, no words are being held back. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
All right, so I'm liking negative three, twenty-three point one. I would say that for a good range for hip hop, you want to go anywhere from negative twenty-two to negative twenty-four around there. Work on that. Now I'm going to see how much it actually compressed. So it seems that the, the most that it compressed was 692, 6.92. Now, the makeup, you want to make up how much D, like dB you took off from, you know, how much dB you compressed. Now, you can have it on auto. The thing with auto is that I don't trust it, and it doesn't sound as good if you leave it on auto. So what you're going to do is you can either give it, for example, minus 6.92. So you can, I could probably go with 6 dB gain. Or I can try to go with 7.1 dB gain. I usually like giving it a gain. So I'll go with 7.1. And the vocals, what's going to happen is actually it's going to get louder. So let me see. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and give it a seven point and go with seven point four. Alright guys, and that's basically it for compressing vocals. What I'm gonna do is right after this, in this video still, I'm gonna have a little part, maybe ten seconds of the uncompressed. And then 10 seconds of the compressed version so you guys can hear the difference. So, well, thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video and this helped you, go ahead and make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want me to do any other videos on EQ or anything like that, go ahead and comment down below or write me a message. Contact me on Facebook, Twitter. You know, just find a way to contact me and I will help you guys out. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Raw, unique, you spit flaw. The type of nigga that hit the mall and drop jaws. No fellas, of course I'm talking about the ladies. Yeah, your girls saw the magic stick and